Hello. Hi. How you doing? This is Juniper. She's my roommate's cat. She's very inquisitive and very pretty. She loves just sitting next to you. It's the cutest thing ever. Y'all already know Sochi. She loves being up here and just playing. Hi. Hi, my love. Hi, hello, welcome. As you can see, the sun is shining right in my face. So we're gonna make this intro super quick. So welcome to the start of December reading vlogs or just vlogs in general. Can I commit to uploading every single day? No. Can I commit to uploading every two days? I can try. Realistically, it's gonna be more like every three days, but you know, we can try and see where it goes. Today is officially December 1st, which means the Reindeer Readathon has already started. So I am going to go ahead and start the first book, which will be We Are Satellite. That one is due back to my library in about five or six days. So I really wanna go ahead and start it, see if I like it, and then go ahead and finish it within the next day or two. I haven't actually looked to see how long it is. So I'm hoping that it's like a medium sized book, about 300 to 400 pages that is the sweet spot for me then i can actually go ahead and start an audiobook i think i might be starting of women and salt so i will come back later and give you all of my thoughts on those books oh i'm glad i'm wearing sunscreen because this sun is right in my face but wow i haven't had a sun like this in a while here in oregon possibly because i'm inside all day so i don't really see the sunlight literally the sun comes out at like what like 8 8 30 and then it sets at like 4 30 those are my working hours so i don't really see the sun monday through friday isn't that sad Hello, so it's lunchtime and I have a break. Well, it's my lunch technically from work. So I, we haven't gone grocery shopping in a very long time. We need to do that probably today, if not tomorrow. Yay, seasonal depression. Usually we cook a lot, but we just haven't recently. We've been ordering a lot of takeout, which is kind of bad. And it's making me feel really bad because I actually enjoy cooking. But since we don't really have any food, I'm just gonna heat up some soup from TJ's, Trader Joe's and call it a day. Also, I ended up dropping soup on myself when i open the can i don't know if you can see this is my chilling with my snow me shirt got it at target like two years ago i want to say still have it it's a great shirt i love it all the cool kids are wearing them when i was younger and my mom made soups she would always add bananas to our soup and now it's just like a comfort thing i don't know why is that weird adding banana slices to your soup i feel like some people might think it's weird but I really like it. I really like bananas in general, actually. They're like my favorite fruit. It's definitely a boring favorite fruit, but it's so versatile, so I'm gonna go with it. Hi, so I just got done with work. It's 5.19. Today is Bachelorette night. Ben and I watch it on Wednesdays because that's when it comes out on Hulu. So he ordered some sushi. We're gonna have some wine. In the meantime, while the food gets here, I'm actually editing a video that will hopefully go up for Friday. So the next of the night is going to be really chill. I'm just going to go ahead and edit this video. Then we're gonna watch The Bachelorette and drink some wine. And then I will probably end up starting another book. We're waiting for the UPS guy to leave. It's kind of awkward when you go outside for your package and they're still there. Oh, I already said hi to him. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I'm waiting for the UPS guy to leave. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, this is huge. So I ended up buying a squat stand for Cyber Monday because I don't like strangers and I've been just really unmotivated to go to the gym. So I thought maybe if we have one of these at home, I will go ahead and actually work out when I feel lazy because, you know, path of least resistance. I don't have to get in the car and I don't have to drive and I don't have to talk to people. So here we go. Hello. So it's now nighttime and we just finished watching The Bachelorette. We're about to play a couple of games of League. I started playing again last week and hadn't played in like over four or five years. So if you're like such a noob again, 
but it's been really fun. It's been really addicting. I really like League. Um, there's a bunch of new champions. I don't know what the hell they do, but it's fine. It's fine. So I wanted to give you a quick update because I did start a book. So I started Of Women and Salt by Gabriela Garcia, and I'm only about 12 to 15 percent in. So not that far in. It is a very slow paced book. And from what I can tell, we are following multiple timelines and multiple points of views. We actually start off in 2018 and we're, and we're following a mother. I believe her name is Carmen. She's apologizing to her daughter, Jeanette. Then after that, we switch POVs and timelines going all the way back to 1866 in Cuba where we are following Maria Isabel. She's the only woman who is working in this tobacco workshop. She's trying to support herself and her mother after her father passed away. There she meets this man and she becomes really good friends with him and eventually they ended up getting married and we find out she's pregnant and then after that we switch timelines again and this time it's in 2014 and we are following Jeanette. So from what I can tell so far it's going to span from 1866 all the way to 2018 which is a lot of ground to cover. I don't know how I will feel about it because I usually like it when books only cover a couple of years and we really have like a deep dive into that time period. So I'm just really interested to see how Garcia is going to handle the story and where it's going to go. You never know, I might end up loving it. So far, I really like the writing style. It is being told in third person. And you know, I don't hate any of the characters. So that's always a plus. I will keep you updated as I keep on reading. Psst. Hi. Oh my God, okay, so I have to go and break downstairs because look at all these leaves this is post fall going into winter do you see this do you see this it's a mess down there especially when it rains it just get like caked down onto any like cement or brick surface oh that's gonna be fun well not looking forward to that look at the trees they're all bare now also here look at this they're all caked there do you see that ah yay Okay, hello, hi. So today is December 2nd. It is the morning. I'm taking my first break, making some coffee. So I did start of Women and Salt last night. I'm still going through it right now, but I also ended up starting We Are Satellites. I was this close to switching that one out for a different book, but then Jessie from The Bookish Mom said that she really liked We Are Satellites. And I feel like from all of the booktubers that I watch, we have the closest reading taste, especially when it comes to sci-fi and fantasy. So I'm like, okay, I have to read it now. So I did start it. I'm only about like 40-ish pages in, I want to say, and it's interesting. So in this one, we are following a family and it is multiple POV. We So far, we followed three separate characters within this family. And so the premise of the story is that randomly, well, not randomly, but like all of a sudden, people started getting these implants in their temples. These people elect to have brain surgery and have these implants that will help them process things better. It'll help them multitask and stuff like that. And at first, it's just a select few people who can afford it but then eventually it starts to grow and more and more people start to have it and so one of our main characters David he goes to the school where basically he's the only guy that doesn't have these implants and he really wants them but one of his moms Val is like super hesitant about him getting it Val is wondering how this implant is going to affect her kid but she also doesn't want to put him at a disadvantage academically if it is helping kids so once the pros and the cons are weighed, David ends up getting the implants, but he thinks there's something wrong with them. He says that there's this feeling of wrongness. So that's kind of where I am. Like I said, I'm only about 40-ish pages in. I'm interested to see which way it's going to go. I wonder if it's going to be more of like a soft and cozy story or if something's going to change and they all become robots and they're being controlled by the government or something like that. I honestly have no idea which way this story is going to go, but I am intrigued. So I will keep reading, but this will actually be the end of this particular vlog. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.